Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about why I will never do giveaways again on Amazon. You know, a lot of people are talking about giveaways still to this day. Hey, do giveaways, do, you know, search find buy and get people to use a coupon code. No, don't do that, all right? Just use uh, the tactics that I'll explain later in the video to rank your product organically within Amazon's TOS. If you're gonna be an Amazon seller, please follow the rules. A lot of people are talking about what to do on Amazon. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what not to do on Amazon. That being said, I will see you in there. Let's get into this. So just to get this started about a year, two years ago, I made a video, more than two years ago now, yeah, two and a half years ago, I made a video about getting banned for doing ranking activities via giveaways. Don't do those, okay? You, you don't need to do them. They're not even that effective at keeping you ranked. Um, it's it's kind of fake, really. Um, you're, you're tricking yourself into thinking you're doing better than you are. It's, you know, uh, we're not gonna get into it. But anyway, let's talk about what not to do, right? Everyone's saying, here's how you find a good product. Yeah, there's so many things. Look at the general guidelines. Look at how many don'ts and don'ts and do this and don't do that there are for selling on uh, Amazon. So let's go over some of those. So um, we're gonna be following this Jungle Scout article that was published about a week ago. Uh, this is relatively new, actually less than a week ago. So this is going to be perfect way for 2022 to kind of reestablish uh, what you shouldn't be doing on Amazon. There's a lot of things you shouldn't be doing. And just another reminder, Amazon's customers aren't your customers, they're Amazon. So um, this is a great place to start your business, but you know, throughout the year, we'll be talking more about moving your business into, you know, an environment not off of Amazon. It'll probably always be a part of what you do because it's so effective, but um, where you can interact with your customers more and don't have to worry about all this. So with that being said, check it out. So Amazon wants to protect both you and their buyers. Uh, we're not going to go over the introduction, just the general guidelines. So this is all taken directly from Amazon's terms of service. The seller prohibited activities and actions is for most products and services. Some products and services may have additional guidelines. So don't try to send buyers away from Amazon, right? So that's called diverting traffic, right? In the TOS, they say you cannot divert traffic. So that means in theory, okay, you get a buyer from Amazon, even if you're just trying to send them from your to your site with an email to that customer, you're now within, you know, you're breaking TOS. So again, how is that your customer if you can't even email them and say, you know, hey, we just opened this website and now you could order directly from us? No, you can't do that. It's not your customer. So don't use business names that try to trick shoppers are trademarked or are URLs. Don't send marketing emails to your customers. How do you get around that one? Don't send marketing emails to your customers. So you can't even say, hey, we have a new product out. Here's a coupon for it. Again, that doesn't sound like my customer to me now, does not Does it? Um, so we'll talk more later about how to actually, within this stuff, go about catching those customers and making them yours truly, yours truly. Um, but anyway, don't misuse customer phone numbers. You can only send emails through Amazon's messaging system. So right there, you can't even email customers. And I've gotten several strikes on my account. Well, not really strikes, but just like slaps on the wrist about, hey, stop emailing customers. Hey, stop asking for reviews, etc. So all of these software programs that are making email platforms for your customers, you're technically not even supposed to be doing that if it doesn't apply directly to your order. Okay, so don't send emails through anything but Amazon's messaging system. So that means on the app, um, Amazon Seller Central app, when you go to messages, communications, that's what they're talking about. You can't be emailing directly um, from your own private email. So you uh, don't try to break Amazon system I see that as manipulation in sales rank um, is what I think they're summing that one up to be. So don't cheat for good reviews. Don't, here's 50% off. Give me a five-star review. Totally without, totally out of TOS. Don't cheat for sales rank or brag about it in your listing. I don't know what the hell brag about it in your listing means. Who would be doing that? You know, oh, look at me. You know, I'm number one. Like I've never seen that. I don't know what Jungle Scott's talking about here. So don't abuse the A to Z guarantee. Um, and don't abuse the search engine. Additional guidelines. You guys can go through this and read this. Um, Jungle Scout blog, Amazon Terms Service, if you'd like, just came out a week ago. Um, there's a couple other things that I want to um, focus on. So repercussions, right? Um, Amazon can and will ban you or your product for breaking the rules. So a lot of people see this as, oh, whatever, everyone does it. 
I can say personally, I've been suspended for doing these things. And it wasn't all of them. It wasn't like I was this rebel doing, breaking every rule. I just used a giveaway to get a product ranked. That resulted in three days later, me waking up to my account saying suspended and paying $1,000 for a lawyer to get my account back. So there we are. So Amazon can hold your payments if they suspend your account. Again, just to show you guys, right? You're really not in all that much control here. Amazon can be great if you're on their side, which is why I always, since that happened, am within their TOS and doing what they ask. Now I know that sounds kind of like I'm the one who's not in control there because it's true. Like I stated in the beginning, Amazon's customers are Amazon's customers. You're leveraging their platform to get sales for your brand, which is why branding is important. So people start looking for your brand outside of Amazon, maybe going to your website. You can include things in your box like, hey, this is our website or include your website on your packaging or in your insert card, um, et cetera. The portion of Amazon Terms of Service is in addition to all their Amazon Terms of Service agreements. General guidelines. So these are going over more so in depth of what we went over above, right? So it's basically giving you more information about what it means not to misuse an email or misuse um, a uh, phone number. Um, so you can only have one Seller Central account, but there are exceptions. This is one thing that I did want to touch on because I have two Seller Central accounts. So operating and maintaining multiple Seller Central accounts is prohibited. If you have a legitimate business need for a second account, you can apply for an exemption to this policy. Contact us, your account, other account issues. So I did this. And interestingly enough, they said, you don't need to ask us for permission for another account as long as it is separated completely by entities, meaning you have a different business for it, you have a different address for it, you have a different bank account for it. You don't have to do that. Two accounts for one entity is what is the issue. So I think they need to update their wording here. That's what I heard directly from several Amazon associates, and that was an update. So just to clarify on that one. So this is interesting. Don't try to break Amazon system. If you upload excessive amounts of data repeatedly, otherwise use the service in an excessive or unreasonable way, Amazon may in its sole discretion restrict or block your access. So reviews, ratings, and feedback, don't cheat for those, obviously. Um, so I wanted to touch on this one. You can't cheat for sales ranks. Best seller rank allows buyers to evaluate popularity of a product. Any attempt to manipulate sales rank is prohibited. And by the way, that's what I was susp suspended for. It said in the exact wording, um, suspension for manipulating sales rank. And the only way you can really manipulate sales rank is if you are um, providing claim cones to buyer for the purpose of inflating sales rank. That's a giveaway. I don't see any way around this, right? All these companies saying, no, giveaways still work or giveaways are you know not out in outside of Amazon's TOS. How can you work around that? Are you like some tricky little lawyer and you can see something around this that I can't? Providing claim codes for the purpose of inflating sales rank. A giveaway. Okay, here's 100 claim codes, coupon codes. Um, I'm going to give it to this service. And I, in return, I hope that they lower my sales rank so that I rank higher on page one. All right, that's, that's why I will never do giveaways again, like I stated in the title. Okay, that there's just no way getting around that for me. I can't see it and no one's gonna be able to talk me into the fact that that's gonna be okay. Especially when I got uh, suspended for doing that exact thing. So moral of the story, don't do that, okay? Don't do giveaways. And now um, there, this page is really good. It goes on to um, provide more information about things within TOS, like upselling, um, duplicate listings, tricking, prices, um, tricking buyers, et cetera but I wanted to touch on the right way to be doing these things uh, because I promised you that I would in the beginning. So when you go to amazon.com, there is essentially the giveaway strategy, which is just going to be coupon codes. So if we put like birdhouse or something, um, it's about to be spring, a, a giveaway, you're usually not really utilizing aggressive PPC as well. It's kind of just like, okay, I have a couple PPC campaigns, but I'm really relying on my giveaway to get me ranked. So what people are going to do is they're going to search birdhouse. So that's the thing that you want to get ranked for. They're going to scroll down this page 
you're going to have an ASIN for them or a specific image for them. Say it was this one. Okay, they're going to click into this one. They're going to buy it. And then that triggers to Amazon. Hey, when people search birdhouse, they come down the page, they found this one and they bought it. Maybe we should put it at the top. Now figure five to 10 people are doing that a day. It's probably going to get to push to the top very quickly, right? Because Amazon's getting that trigger over and over again. However, if they see that every single one of those sales is coming from a claim code that you specifically made single use codes for this, that's a little strange, isn't it? Yeah, so that's how they're gonna catch you. Um, the right way to be doing this would be to take birdhouse or you know longer term keyword, um, birdhouses for outside, birdhouse poll, etc. Put those into a PPC campaign, have phenomenal photography, have a phenomenal unique product identifier and just get ranked via PPC. So that's what I do for all my products. Now you can turn on, we'll be able to find one here somewhere. Um, this thing, save 5% with coupon, right? So that's just a little coupon that you can put on and you can make that 25% off if you want. So you can still do coupons, again, not to be confused with giveaways. They're two different things. You can have a coupon internally on Amazon where customers from Amazon come to your listing and they get um, an added percentage taken off, that's fine. You just can't be handing out single use codes that are bumping up the sales rank you're listing because that's manipulating sales rank. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you did find any value in this video, please be sure to subscribe down below. I would love to have you. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Later.